In 2020 and 2021, I posted videos on how to clean vintage pieces using baking soda, peroxide, and Dawn dishwashing liquid. The most popular was the 1960s Barbie wardrobe video. In the last year and most recently, several of you have asked what is the ratio in making the paste. So using clips from my Shantung opera coat and wool jacket video, as well as the Barbie video as references, I'll demonstrate as well as explain how the process is done. To prepare the paste, start with baking soda, then add a little peroxide, followed by a few drops of Dawn, then mix thoroughly. The amount used is up to you and dependent upon what you're cleaning. Use a plastic rather than metal spoon when applying the paste to prevent damage to vintage pieces. I don't recommend using any other dish detergent but Dawn. What I discovered while using palm olive dish detergent in the Barbie video was an ammonia smell emitting from the paste. At the time of filming, this was all I had available. Luckily, I was careful with the amount of products I used. Other than a bit of color bleed from the sunflower dress, all the pieces turned out fine, so I strongly recommend using only Dawn in the paste. Also, don't overdo it with the detergent. Just a little will do because it's very concentrated. You don't want the pieces soapy where it takes forever to rinse. The paste itself is concentrated, producing a foam consistency, so adjust the detergent accordingly. The paste not only cleans and freshens vintage pieces, but also brightens, giving them new life. On larger vintage pieces like my pink jacket, after applying the paste, neatly fold, then roll the garment, placing it in a clear cellophane bag or medium or jumbo Ziploc bag, then place it in a dark, cool spot, allowing it to process for 24 hours. As for Barbie clothes, 25 to 30 minutes or less processing time is all that's needed. Then gently roll in white paper towels, put in a sandwich bag, which is optional, and place in a dark, cool spot. After the pieces have processed, rinse in lukewarm to cool water, preferably cool. Gently squeeze, not twist the Barbie pieces or garment and dab any excess water with a white paper towel, cloth or towel, then allow to dry away from direct sunlight. The reason for using white paper towels or linens is to prevent color transfer from or onto pieces. When drying my Barbie pieces, I line a tray with paper towels, then lay the pieces flat uncovered to air dry. After drying, the pieces are steamed, then stored in resealable cellophane bags. The sizes I use are 5x7, 7x7, and 6x9. The bags keep my Barbie wardrobe collection clean, free of odors, moth damage, and sun exposure. An initial cleaning with the paste is all that's necessary. Then regular washings with just dish detergent, Dawn, are your choice of product. Between washings, spot clean pieces with plain baby wipes or freshen with fabric sanitizer. I use the Clorox brand. Remember, these pieces are 50 to 60 plus years old and their integrity must be maintained. For darker color pieces like Gay Parisian, Let's Dance, Fancy Free, and others, do only regular washings in Dawn or your choice of product and cold water. I hope this video has been helpful.